but um, like with this, uh, this is just a um, fake uh, seashell. Mm -hmm. And I have a waterfall at the office that they can come and see. Mm -hmm. It's nothing but cascading succulents, and, and this is near it. And it gives that theme of, of a waterfall and the seashore, but it's all succulents. Mm -hmm. And you're saving water. Yes, that's, it is beautiful. And you know what? I didn't get stuck. No, you don't. <laughs> On those, you don't. Uh, so, uh, most cactus, you will, mm -hmm. and, and even some euphorbias, and of course, the agaves. Uh, some of these, this is a little bit pokey, but not bad. Mm -hmm. We have about 15 new varieties we're going to be testing of yuccas. Mm -hmm. And with yuccas and agaves, we do have the agave weevil here, which will attack and kill them. So mm -hmm. uh, you have to be careful which variety. And don't overwater and over fertilize. I see, that's one of the things I think I, I have a tendency to do is I overwater sometimes um, because I want to make sure that I give them what they right. need and sometimes I, I, I well especially it. the winter mm -hmm. uh, you want to cut the water off and watch them and maybe water once a month on some of uh, the non-native cactus in the mm -hmm. landscape uh, maybe every two months uh, mm -hmm. we can go a long distance and then in the summertime maybe once a month once they're established mm -hmm. and don't put the emitters next to the stems of any cactus or succulent because mm -hmm. you'll rot it. Oh. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you, I was a little upset because, you know, I'm not growing hair and this cactus is. Yeah, the cactus has more hair than <laughs> <laughs> Now, tell me, tell me a little bit about this one. Well, this one is uh, just uh, another one of the more like a barrel cactus. It has a little bud. I brought it because it has a bud for mm. flowers. This time of year, we have flower buds. And cactus bloom on the newest... Um, uh, area of it. Mm -hmm. They have what's each one of these little white dots here mm -hmm. is behind that is what's called an aerial. Mm -hmm. An aerial is important because uh, an aerial uh, on this pad down here the aerials will form roots when mm -hmm. we go to root it. Okay. Uh, if they also form spines and glockids. Mm -hmm. When this roots new growth will come from the newest uh, two years or younger aerials. So new growth and blooms. And so a cactus always blooms on its youngest aerials. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what these are. And if you notice on this little native pincushion, mm -hmm. right up there at the top. And so uh, the aerial plays an important role in the reproduction and uh, growth of the cactus. New growth, roots, flowers, and the spines to protect it. In nature, this wouldn't survive as well because it doesn't have uh, the protection. Now, I'm going to tell you, I thank you for coming, but I'm going to keep this because from now on, when somebody asks me about my hair, I'm going to tell them that my cactus has it. Okay, and <laughs> I have the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. You bet. And we thank you, and we look forward to seeing you on our next Extension Connection.